And that will, that will says we are not having it anymore. Human race, get off your knees. What are you doing down there? Hey, all these reasons we get on our knees. Oh God and all oh bloody hell. You're, you, all that exists, all imagination, all possibility, all that is, has been and ever can be, what are you on your freaking knees to? Yourself. Ridiculous. Come on. Get off your knees. Look at the dynamics. Look at the numbers. It can only happen because we allow ourselves to be divided and ruled. Divided and ruled through our Quantic religions under different names. Divided and ruled by the ludicrous fault lines of race and culture. Celebrate your race, celebrate your culture. But it's an experience, we're all one. <laughs> Divided and ruled by the ludicrous liberal, democrat, labor, conservative, republican bollocks. Masks on the same face, rich and poor, and all these bloody things. And there's another divide and rule that people forget about. Me, me, me. What divides me, me, me from everything else is I'll only do what I think is right for me, me, me in the circumstances that I face. Why don't we start uh, uh, responding and reacting to situations on the basis of what is right and what is just and what is fair in that situation for all concerned rather than what is right for me, me, me. I say this, what are you doing, you people in science? who are developing every day more efficient ways of killing your fellow humanity and poisoning them even ever more efficiently. What are you doing? You have children. You have grandchildren. You are destroying their world. Look in the eyes of your children, grandchildren, and tell them you can justify that. Why are you doing it? Because of me, 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 my job, my money, my career. What about your humanity? What about your sense of decency? This is a guy called Donovan Hunter. He's going around these bloody things, selling to the authorities the battle prod, which is like millions of volts to be used that'll make the taser with 55,000 volts look like a tea party. And he's got children and grandchildren, and he's trying to flog this into the world that they're gonna have to inherit. All you people that work for Monsanto and are not core insiders, you people that work for these agencies that are destroying small farmers and small uh, uh, businesses and growers, all you that are working for the system in dark suit administrations, what are you doing? Me, me, me. That is what you're doing. And you're destroying everything decent by the obsession with self and your own uh, desires and your own greed and your own self-indulgence. You people in the media, what are you doing? You go around reporting the world the way the system wants it reporting telling the people the version of events that suits the system, the very system that wants to destroy the world and enslave your children and your grandchildren. What are you doing? How about this lady, Amber Lyon, worked for CNN, was told to lie about reporting in uh, Bahrain, where that vicious, vicious regime is uh, treating and torturing the people of Bahrain in that grotesque, tyrannical way that they are, unchallenged by the West because it suits the West for them to do it. When she was told to lie, she was out of there and she's exposing CNN for the fraud that it is. That's a journalist. Ali, 
Hey, you know, every, every now and again I get approached by celebrities. Uh, oh, you're doing a great job, mate. I think it's wonderful what you're doing. Okay, and what are you going to do? You're going to make a freaking film now, aren't you? You're going to make another bloody record. You're going to stand in front of tens of thousands of people. You're going to go on chat shows watched by millions of people. And are you going to bring this subject up yourself? No. Why? Me, me, me. How will it affect my career? I tell, I tell you, anyone in the public eye, come nowhere near me unless you are prepared to put your bloody self where your mouth is. Walk the talk or walk the other way. And then all these people, there's some great stuff goes on, on the internet and there's some great information passed around forums, but my God, there's some bollocks. I tell you what, oh my God. Uh, you know, I, I have sympathy for those that don't know what's happening because they've never come across the information, they just don't work in those circles. I can see that. I'm doing nothing because I don't know. It's more and more difficult to justify that, as I've said, but some people do, okay, fair enough. But when people, not least through the efforts of others, have access to information about what's happening in the world and the direction it's going and what's at the end of this bloody rainbow unless we sort it out and their only contribution is abusing each other on the freaking internet and trying to abuse and undermine those who've got the guts to stand up and actually do something that is beyond the cesspit for me and far worse than people that don't know doing nothing Instead of arguing with each other in you know, foreign bloody arguments between people you don't bloody know anyway, it's a bloody logging name, and bloody trying to abuse people who are trying to do something, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself a question. What are you doing? And get off your ass and use your bloody time to make a difference rather than just become another expression of the freaking problem. Oh, I've won the argument, he's not responded, bloody hell. Walk the talk or shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then, dark suits in government administration and people in uniform. What are you doing? What is it about uniform? Are people like putting fancy dress on? I mean, you know, I mean, look at this guy, this Swiss guard of the Vatican. And they've got guns, these people. I mean, being shot is bad enough, but being shot by someone in pyjamas must be a nightmare. Bloody hell. Oh, the world's mad. That's where I came in, isn't it? Bloody hell. Anyway, all these people, you know, these, these have families and grandchildren and children and all that stuff, and they're hijacking their future. As, as they, you know, the... Occupy protesters say to the police, you're the 99% too. Because there are so few in full knowledge who are manipulating humanity that they have to recruit from the target population to enforce their agenda upon the target population. And all these people, these first responders, 9-11, who are now dying of the diseases of breathing in what they knew was in that debris, who are uh, denied the finances, even for the drugs and stuff, to treat them, what they have. All these people losing limbs and losing lives in wars of conquest and wars of tyranny. I mean, defending and increasing the, the, the opium crop. This is, this is the opium production in Afghanistan and the CIA control. This is since the takeover or the invasion. That was the little bit when the Taliban, I've got a brief of the Taliban, I mean, don't start me off, but uh, on this, look at it. The troops are defending the, the opium crop and they're losing their limbs and they're killing kids and things for it. You know, Bertrand Russell said, many a man will have the courage. It's a funny thing, this physical courage and moral courage. So often people find physical courage easier. Many a man will have the courage to die gallantly, but will not have the courage to say or even think that the cause for which he is asked to die is an unworthy one. 
it's about time they did. Don't tell me, people in uniform, that when you're killing kids, that you're just following bloody orders. No, no. As uh, Woody Guthrie said, I would like to see every single soldier on every single side just take off your helmet, unbuckle your kit, lay down your rifle and set down on the side of some shady lane and say, nope, I ain't gonna kill nobody. Plenty of rich folks wanna fight, give them the guns. Come on, people in uniform, put down your weapons. You fighting for a system that is designed to destroy your freedom and your family's freedom. Put your guns down, for goodness sake. We don't want war. You probably don't, most of you want to fight wars, even though you're in bloody uniform. But we fight them anyway. This is what Henry Kissinger said about American troops. They're dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns for foreign policy. That's what they think of you. Ah, oh, support the troops. There, yeah, support the troops while they're serving the system. And when they challenge the system, put them in a psychiatric freaking home because uh, they must be mad because they're questioning 9-11. They don't give a shit about you. They don't. You're just a pawn in a game, and when you're maimed and can't fight anymore, they'll get some more bloody pawns. I mean, they're putting troops into situations where they get radiation and diseases like Gulf War Syndrome. These people that are so often, not all of them, but many of them so officious and unpleasant, of the TSA and the airport security and stuff, many of them are going down like nine pins at some airports from the cumulative effect of radiation from the very bloody machines that they're putting people through. Now, they don't give a shit about you because they know some other mug will come along and stand there eventually, especially in a recession when people are desperate for money. Vacancies available. There you go, join the army. I'm digging my own grave now. That's a great idea, isn't it? What is it uh, Senator George McGovern said? I think he died recently. What a great quote. He talked about old men dreaming up wars for young men to die in. Well, come on, young men and young women. Stop bloody dying in them then and stop killing others in them. Make a choice. It's your power. And what, what do they bloody do to the people that survived the wars, eh? In old age, oh, support the troops. And they cut back their bloody benefits and cut them back. They don't give a shit about you. You can't bloody fight anymore. No use to us. Albert Einstein, the pioneers of a warless world are the youth that refuse military service. And, and the older people that support them in that aim. I'm so proud my son is serving his country. Oh, really? You're proud that he's serving his bloody uh, country in the way of putting himself in danger and killing bloody others. Oh, God, that's something to be proud of, Dad. The draft is coming. I want you uh, for the US Army and all this stuff. Bollocks, we ain't doing it. Okay. We're having a draft, everyone in the army, bugger off. We're not doing it, where's their power? Their power is in our acquiescence to their demands. Enough! These are wonderful people. These Israelis are wonderful people who are going to prison because they will not serve the Israeli tyranny against Palestinians. Wonderful people. These Iraq veterans who've sussed it, who've seen what they were used for. Look at it. What are you doing? It's unbelievable. Know thyself. You're not a mad in uniform. You are infinite awareness. And consciousness doesn't fight because consciousness knows that that which is fighting is an expression of itself. Mind fights mind. Five sense Bubble fights, five cents bubble. Consciousness doesn't fight because it's too aware to do so. As someone brilliantly said, the real fight in terms of people in uniform and soldiers and military, the real fight is not with others,
ever more efficiently. What are you doing? You have children. You have grandchildren. You are destroying their world. Look in the eyes of your children, grandchildren, and tell them you can justify that. Why are you doing it? Because of me, me, me. My job, my money, my career. What about your humanity? What about your sense of decency? Circumstances that I face. Why don't we start uh, uh, responding and reacting to situations on the basis of what is right and what is just and what is fair in that situation for all concerned rather than what is right for me, me, me. I say this, what are you doing, you people in science? who are developing every day more efficient ways of killing your fellow humanity and poisoning them even and that will that will says we are not having it any more human race get off your knees what are you doing down there hey all these reasons we get on our knees Oh, God, and all oh, bloody hell. You're, you, all that exists, all imagination, all possibility, all that is, has been, and ever can be, we're all one. <laughs> Divided and ruled by the ludicrous, liberal, democrat, labor, conservative, republican bollocks, masks on the same face rich and poor and all these bloody things and there's another divide and rule that people forget about me 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 what divides me 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 from everything else is i'll only do what i think is right for me 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 in the circuit what are you on your freaking knees to yourself ridiculous come on get off your knees look at the dynamics look at the numbers it can only happen because we allow ourselves to be divided and ruled divided and ruled through our contic religions under different names divided and ruled by the ludicrous fault lines of race and culture celebrate your race celebrate your culture but it's an experience where all